happen spontaneously. Hey everyone, it's Stephen Morales here, and today I'm going to do a review for the Sculpt Chisel. Now, about a year ago, I did a review for the Sculpt Aim. Um, this is a new piece of technology that came out last year. Uh, I believe they did a Kickstarter, Kickstarter for it, and essentially what it does is it measures body fat. Um, the, the big thing, uh, or main difference between this and maybe like uh, one of the other handheld readers that you'll see is that usually is like a bioimpedance reader. And this is an, actually an electrical impedance myographer. It's supposed to be uh, more accurate and closer to the gold standard, which is the DEXA scan. Now, historically, I've used um, calipers, and those have worked really, really well for me. And then I wanted to switch to something that was a little bit easier to use. Um, now, with the Sculpt Aim, I really, really did like the product. Um, over time, though, and this is actually the, the Sculpt Aim, it has a display on it. So if I turn this on really quick, it actually has the display on it. The chisel, which is this, does not. Um, but with this, uh, super easy to use, but I noticed within about nine months, the battery started to give a little bit more. And I think that's because of the display. It just, I mean, it just drains it. So uh, with this, that's kind of the one pro, one of the main pros. This is uh, way lighter. Battery lasts a lot longer and uh, a little bit easier to use with the phone. So because it doesn't have the display on it, you actually have to basically have your phone open and it'll read it to that. Uh, they did an update to their software about three to four months ago and uh, I'm shooting this in August of 2016. Um, about three, three to maybe four or five months ago they did an update to the software and I noticed as soon as they did that essentially all my numbers changed. So they tweaked the algorithm or whatever it did and my numbers went up and this went kind of across the board for my clients too. I use this with all of my clients and I just saw an increase in, in all the numbers. So, um, But that's on the software side. Uh, like I said, I don't know really. I've reached out to, to them to see what was going on and I never got a response back. Um, but uh, it wasn't a, a massive jump. Um, I'm not going to see like a 10% increase or something like that. I think I, I went up a couple percent. But still, there was an increase and there was a change. One of the things that you want to know is, is how consistent is whatever technology that you're using over time because that's going to be better. Now, with this, it is an electrical impedance myographer like I mentioned. There are 12 nodes on the back of this. Um, with this, an electric or a bioimpedance reader, the handheld unit, that sends an electrical signal, goes all the way through your body and what it's essentially measuring is the delay from one hand to the other for that electrical signal. The more body fat you have, the slower that's going to go and then that's going to show that you have more body fat, right? Now with this, it does it directly on the muscle. So if I put this on my bicep, it's going to read right there. Uh, so it's supposed to be a little bit more accurate. One of the cool things with this is you can measure any body part. So shoulders, lower back, upper back, calves, forearms, glutes, hamstrings, whatever. You can measure this. So you can paint a greater picture overall for that. And when you actually end up turning, it's going to be hard to see on this, on my app here. But when you end up turning that on, yeah, you can barely see it, but when you turn it on, it actually shows uh, an image. And it shows front and back, and it shows everything that you've measured. Um, it not only shows that, but it actually shows muscle quality. Now, muscle quality used to be out of 160. They've since changed that with the update also. So now it's actually out of 100. Uh, the higher the number, the better. Um, like 100 is going to be more like a bodybuilder. Um, 60 to 80 is going to be more athletic and it kind of gives you that scale on here which is really really cool and at the top here on the app it shows me uh, muscle quality I'm at 91% and showing my body fat is at 18 that actually went up from was it 13 or 14 actually so yeah I had, I had about a 4% increase after the uh, algorithm changed um, overall though I am happy with the product so the pros between this and this like I mentioned this is way lighter battery lasts longer, but it doesn't have the display on it. So I'm going to have to have my phone here, okay? Um, one of the updates that they did too that I really, really like, with this you would do constant readings on the one area and find try and find consistent readings with that. With this one now, when you put it on there, it'll show you on the app not only where you're supposed to put it on the muscle, but it'll tell you kind of like move it around because it's going to pick up on all those differences and it's going to show you where you 
mean to put it for the best average, which is really, really cool. It's giving you those readings in real time now. Um, and I'll actually fire this up really, really quick. So green means it's good to go. And like I mentioned, the battery life on this, way better. I mean, now with this, the, the aim, I mean, that thing's dying on me after I read maybe two or three clients. Now I have to do multiple readings because I actually do look for an average. So I'll do anywhere from 10 to 20 readings on one body part just to get uh, a consistent pull from it. So on here, let's do, let's see, right bicep. I simply click on that muscle on the app, it'll show me where I'm at. It'll show me too, measurements over time. I mean, the dates that I've done the readings, all of that. So you literally paint this real consistent picture over time, over the last month, three months, it charts it for you, which is really, really cool. Um, but with this, I can start the scan. So with this, it's red now, so it means I'm gonna read this. I simply just spray the back of this with water. It just gives it better connection with your skin. And it's showing on the app, I mean, where I need to place this on my bicep, okay? And it's going to be hard to do <laughs> at the same time, but if I pull it here and I hold it down, so it's reading right now what my body fat is. It glows blue like that. That means it's done. 10%. Um, and I'm 93.3 on the muscle quality. They've actually just added that too to give you those, uh, basically just not like a set number, like they don't round up or down now, they actually give you uh, the point, the decimal point now on that muscle quality. Boom, that was it. Quick, painless, I mean that the ease of use with it, especially with the, the chisel compared to the aim, is awesome. The other one was good, it's just I don't have to do multiple readings on it, and then it'll show up on this. Now. Uh, and I can share these results, which is really, really cool. Cons, though, I mean, it really has to do with the update. The, the latest update that they did did change a lot of the stuff. I'm curious to see how this plays out. I mean, this is new, new technology, so there's going to be adjustments that are going to need to be made over time. Um, but with the app, the guest mode is actually my biggest complaint. Because I, I am a personal trainer and I, I use this with clients, I'll have to go into guest mode and I'll read everything and then I have to export those pictures and save them that one time. I don't get to create a profile for that person and revisit that and, and kind of use the app to showcase that with like all the, the data points within it over time. And I'm gonna end up taking, I think, six pictures because I have to do muscle quality both front and back. Um, and then I have to do their overall. It actually ends up showing you a snippet of your overall that you have, your growth, like I said, all that, that those changes, the analysts of it. Um, the, the quick and the full body scan, it'll show, um, showing my average. I mean, this is total body that it's gonna show. But I can't really do that if I'm in guest mode because it's going to erase it as soon as I'm done with the app. So I have to export all that info. It ends up being a lot of pictures that I end up compiling and then saving in their uh, file that I have for each individual client. So main complaint is I wish they actually could make it so they could almost go into a guest mode and then put a name and then like go into different names and, and retain that information. It would make it a lot easier for anybody that is a trainer. Um, the algorithm change, like I said, kind of with the bump up, I, I kind of sucks. I, I wish I would have gotten uh, at least a snippet as to what they were doing, didn't get any info like that. Um, but overall, like I said, ease of use is, is um, Awesome. I mean, anybody can grab this and use it versus like calipers where you're not going to do pinches on yourself. Um, more accurate than a bioimpedance reader, which is really, really good. Um, overall, happy with the product. Um, I definitely am uh, anxious to see what changes over time. Because like I said, this is, as far as the EIM technology, the electro, electrical impedance myographer technology, um, that's been out for a while now. but. This unit's only been out for the, the last year. They've been working on it for a while. Um, with this, what you end up getting in the box here, you get the reader, you get a dock, right? So this is what you're gonna dock, and it has a USB plug-in that you can do. The spray bottle, like I said, you have to have that to create that uh, connectivity to your body, and then you just get a little sack to put it in so you can take it. Um, who this is kind of for, though, I mean, your average person might not necessarily be into spending, and this is $100, by the way. 
spending $100 on this. The other one was $150. And when I did the review, I had a code so that you, and I think it's still uh, valuable uh, or, or usable, uh, sorry, right now is that you can um, go to my, uh, and I'll put a link on it um, on this video. You can go to that video and I think you get $20 off. So instead of $150, it's like $130. Um, with this and, and I looked on their website they do have a second version of this I believe now um, hopefully the, the tech in that's a little bit better the battery lasts longer stuff like that but um, this one I think the average person would be more into using super light like I said battery lasts longer but um, with this uh, if you're just like your regular gym goer it might not necessarily be worth a hundred dollars to consistently check but I always tell my clients I mean the more data you have that you can kind of those data points that you can utilize the better right I, don't just go off the scale using this piece of technology you can check the body fat the muscle quality and the muscle quality as they explain it on their website is kind of um, how strong is the muscle how they explain it on the website is kind of confusing because it's more what they do with like checking like meat grades <laughs> um, but uh, it's just another data point that you can utilize. And even if you don't want to use that, just the body fat. So you can use that in your inches to actually show progress over time. And it's going to chart it for you. Something's going on. I mean, you're going to make adjustments. Um, with that, I haven't backed this with a DEXA scan yet, though, which is the next thing that I want to do. I want to compare the results between this. Because what they're saying is there's like a 1% to 2% difference between a DEXA scan and this where a bioimpedance reader, I could chug a bunch of water and I could change my body fat five to 10%. I could dehydrate myself. Um, calipers are based off of the skill of the individual. And I know that I'm, I'm good, but it, it's still gonna be, I mean, it's more subject to human error on that one. So overall, good project pro product. Um, maybe not for the average gym goer, um, but anybody that is really into health and fitness this might be a good tool to have and it's just another one that you can put on your side to make sure that you're staying consistent and showing progress over time hopefully they make the adjustments to the software so that uh, you can actually do the guest mode stuff because with us I, I always not only for me as a personal trainer but I mean I did my wife uh, with this and um, I couldn't save that. I had to take all the pictures of it, so I couldn't. We couldn't come back in a couple months, and I could show that that chart. Now you can, of course, pair this to that individual's phone. That is kind of a hassle, but you could pair it to their phone and do it that way. I guess it's kind of their workaround. But for the personal trainer, it's a little bit harder to to do that with each client's phone. It's going to be a whole process of of doing that. But overall, um, like the product, so. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, definitely do that below. Um, Sculpt.me is their website. You can check it out. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to make some adjustments within the next year to just make it a better and better product. And I think that's definitely going to happen. So, like I said, if you guys have any questions or comments, do that below. Um, if you want to check out my review for the other one as soon as I got it, I definitely like that product. Uh, it's just over time, it kind of started to... to wear a little bit and the battery started to die so uh, i want to thank you guys so much for watching this is steve morales see you guys next time